Hi guys, Shaq Studio here and for today, we are going to share on how we do our daytime exterior rendering in Lumion. For this video, we will be focusing on the Lumion rendering effects. If you are interested in figuring out on how to do Lumion models similar to this one, just comment down below. For the Lumion model that we will be using on this video, it would be posted in our Gumroad website which is called HTC2. You can download the Lumion model for free. Support us. The version of HTC2 is Lumion 10, so only people with Lumion 10 or higher versions of Lumion will be able to open the model. So here is the exterior Lumion model of HTC2. It's a three-story house with a brutalist rustic design. For this Lumion model, we are going to set the editor quality into low. This is to lessen the lag a bit. Let's click the camera icon and there should be a captured image already in set. Focal length should be 34 millimeters. Now for the rendering effects, let's add the shadow effects first. Sun shadow range should be 390 meters. Coloring is 3. Brightness is 0. Interior exterior is 0 as well. Omni shadow is 0 0.5. Shadow correction is 0. Shadow type should be normal. And soft shadows and fine detail shadows should be on. After the shadow, let's add the reflection effects. Reflection threshold should be 25 centimeters or maximum. Speed ray reflection should be on. And let's set the preview quality low for now. Click the edit reflection plane and let's select all of the surfaces that are highly glossy or reflective. After the reflection, let's add the print poster enhancer effects. Enabled should be on. After the print poster enhancer, let's add the skylight effects. Let's set the brightness to 1.8. Saturation would be 1. Skylight in planar reflections and skylight in projected reflections should be on. And let's set the render quality into ultra. After the skylight, let's add the hyperlight effects. Amount should be 50.6% and enable preview should be on. After the hyperlight, let's add the global illumination effects. The default setting for the global illumination should be already good, so I don't have to change anything for this one. After the global illumination, let's add the bloom effects. Let's set the amount to 0.1. After the bloom, let's add the color correction effects. Let's set the temperature to 0.2. Tint is also 0.2. Vibrance would be 0.3. Brightness is 0.7. Contrast is 0.5. 5. Saturation is 1, Gamma Correction is 1, Limit Low is 0, and Limit High is 1. After the color correction, let's add the Sharpen effects. Intensity should be 0.1. After the Sharpen, let's add the Exposure effects. Exposure should be 0.5. After the Exposure, let's add the Lens Flare effects. Streak Intensity is 0.8, Streak Rotation is 1, Streak Count would be 4, Streak Dispersion is 0.7, Streak Fall Off is 1.7, Bloom Amount would be 0.4, Let's set the master brightness to 1.8. Anamorphic streak amount is 0. Ghosting amount is 0. Isolate bright pixels is 0. Halo amount is 0. And lens dirt amount is 0. After the lens flare, let's add the autumn colors effects. The default setting for the autumn colors is already good. After the autumn colors, let's add the real skies effects. Let's click on the select real sky and choose clear 4 on the clear tab. Heading should be 26.9 degrees. Brightness is 1.2. Overall brightness brightness would be 1.3 and flip sky is off. After the real skies, let's add the fog effects. The default setting for the fog is already good so we don't have to change anything for this one. After the fog, let's add the precipitation effects. Rain snow would be 0. Precipitation phase is 0.4. Let's set the particle quantity to 0. Particle size would be 0. Blocked by plants and trees is 0.2. Blocking distance is 0. Extra fog addition is 0. And block bias would be 0. After the precipitation Let's add the sun effects. Let's set the sun height to 27.5 degrees. Sun heading would be 57.3 degrees. Sun brightness is 0.8. And sun disk size would be 0. After the sun, let's add the god rays effects. Decay should be 1. Length is 0.4. And intensity should be 4.2. And that is pretty much it for the lumen rendering effects. Let's now render this image. Let's use the print size or 3840 by 2160 so that the image would be able to handle the post production process well. For the post-production process of this visualization, we will be making a separated tutorial video for that. We hope that you've learned something new from this video. Thanks so much for watching and have a good day.
Special thanks to Yuxel Okuyuku, Butcheruni2000, Anthony Given, Danilo S. V. Costa, LP Dakateklaki, MK Visualizer Rungen, Sharang Kumar, Rahat Arora, Walfred Martina, and Elisa Sevikova.